It felt more like football season outside today, but hey, that doesn't stop people here in the Midwest. We fight through cold weather to play some baseball. Over in the Merrillwood Conference, Auburndale traveling to Prentice. Eagles were pouring it on in the fourth inning. I, Ian Brown with the bases juiced, lines that ball into the gap. It's a bases clearing triple for Brown, and Auburndale lead is 10 to 1. Moments later, it's Sloan Welch at the dish. He sends one high and deep to right field. That's going to drop, and it's another run scoring for the Eagles. Plenty of run support for Caden Wetfurther, who was on the mound. He's sitting them down left and right. He had a great game. Auburndale wins this one with the final 18-2. to two. Some other baseball games from our, our, our area. Stratford picks up a big win over Schwamigan, 14 to nothing. Then in White Lake, the Lakers battled a tough Goodman Penbine team. White Lake would come away with the win. Final score of that one, 4-3. to three. Transitioning to the softball diamond. Newman Catholic on the road against Rib Lake. Cardinals would open this game with a bang. Angela Ruggett Donath unloads one. That's a three-run shot to left center field. Gives Newman an early lead. Her teammates loving it, and why wouldn't they? Bottom half, Rib Lake trying to cut into this one. They draw a bases-loaded walk. You'll take them any way you can get them. That makes it a 3-1 to one ball game. But in the second, the Cardinals would strike yet again. Stevie Samuels with a drive into center field. That's going to burn past the outfielder. It's an RBI double for the starting pitcher. Newman rolls big in this one. They win 22 to 12. How about some more softball scores from around the area? Phillips hosting conference foe Edgar. The Loggers dominate this one, winning 15 to 2. And then in Eagle River, Northland Pines hosting Calumet. The Eagles beat Ryan Lander yesterday. They keep the win streak alive today. They won this game 7 to 4. Now to the pitch at Lissell Field. Anago hosting the Wapaka Comets. First half, Comets are on the attack. Mia Kohler. She's going to cross this one into the bat, the box. It's going to end up in the, the foot of Audrey Tice's, and she slots this one home. Wapaka is going to take an early 1-0 lead. Now, later on in the half, threatening again are the Comets. A nice through ball to Ella Schneider. She's going to rip one on net, but the goalie, Emma Lesnar, makes the save. Good save there. Anago keeping this game close. Now to the final minutes of the half. Kohler is given a gift. Somehow the ball is going to land right in front of her, but the shot is too high. At the half, Comets led 1-0. They go on to blow this one up in the second half. Wapaka wins 4-0. Now, high school football in May. No complaints from me. Spash hosted Pulaski. The Panther season comes to an end with a loss to the Red Raiders, 43-20, the final.